What's up, P-Nation? Today we're gonna go hiking. And swimming in the same day. But first, we're gonna go get donuts. on our way to our hike, and we just thought that'd be the perfect thing to start us off. A bunch of sugar. What? Oh my god! That is the most beautiful donut. Okay, so we got a... It matches your shirt. <gasps> it does! So we got a Cara Cara Dreamsicle Donut. I didn't know Cara Cara is to have orange, so it's like an orange creamsicle donut. I love donuts so much. It's actually it's kind of a bad thing. We have a smoked apple fritter and oh my god it's warm a salted butter something brown butter a salted brown butter donut and it is warm and whoa well guys oh my god that satisfies like every donut craving you know like the Krispy Kreme donuts they come out really warm like they have the hot sign on this is that times ten mm. Oh my god, so good. Yeah, smoked apple. Mm -hmm. This is one I'm looking forward to. I love fritters. Oh my god. It's like if barbecue and donuts had a baby. That's what it is. It's like the perfect way to start the morning because I want barbecue for breakfast, but no one has that because no, no place opens until 11. This is perfect. Mmm. Tastes like a creamsicle. Super sweet. That is like a kid flavor, to be honest. The first two were sophisticated in comparison, but this is really good. It's so fluffy. Just like, oh my god. It's a good yeast donut. Whoa. That is dense. There's bread. It's very bready. I don't even know if you consider this a donut. Is it, is it even fried? Like, this kind of seems healthy. That was way too good. That was a ton of sugar. So now we're gonna go hike it all off, hopefully. Where are we going? Let's go. <laughs> After all of that sugar. <laughs> I'm ready to like jump out of this car. We have a 40 minute drive up the mountain to Lake Elsinore. Well, that's across the mountain, but we're actually hiking before that and then going to Lake Elsinore afterwards. But my dad told me about Lake Elsinore a long time ago. He said he went there as a Marine and he would drive up this back road. I don't know how we're gonna get up with our stick shift. Hopefully it's not, oh, we'll as, make it. not as steep as it was when he did it. And then you're rewarded with the view of the lake at the end. But it's actually kind of crazy because the road we're taking is the same road we live off of. So we're, we're just going straight to the lake. Country, which is crazy because it's okay. It is close. Mm. I said it was close. I didn't know. Okay, let's park Camp over here. Ground. Okay. Okay. What goes? What happens if you go down there? All right, and we just arrived in the middle of nowhere. Except you can see the cars behind me. But it feels like the middle of nowhere. The road to get here was super small, but the drive to Lake Elsinore is beautiful. And we'll get there later. But right now we're trying to go on a hike. And get away from the crowds of LA. So we're here somewhere in the mountains of California. We took the street we live on like all the way through this mountain pass or through these hills, saw so many different motorcycles and like really cool cars with convertibles down, enjoying the Sunday sunshine. And now we're kind of like lost in the woods. We're trying to find a trail. All we have is this like really narrow paved road that we're following, looking for the trail. And 
like I can see them in the distance. You know, like I know the trails are around. We just have to find it. Anyway, so we're looking for our trail right now. We're having this dilemma with Zach's shoe where he can't be walking and like vlogging at the same time because he has the squeakiest shoe in the entire world. So we're not really sure what that's about, but we're really trying to get on this trail because we're trying to hike and swim in the same day. <laughs> Your feet are so heavy. You're a heavy walker. You can't even hear these. These are too high pitched. <laughs> All right, so this is not promising. Did we find it? Honestly, what is this? Because it doesn't go down deep. It's not a snake. It's not a hedgehog. Not a groundhog. What's California? What's California have? Land ho! Oh my gosh, you can see Catalina from here and the ocean, and it's so much more beautiful than it was in the pictures when I was looking at this hike. So we've decided that this is the trail. the hike was amazing I am so thankful for this weather it's sunny it's California it's February like this is amazing now we're gonna head down the road to Lake Elsinore destination has been on my mind forever but it's just too far from LA for me to come all the way down here but luckily we got a place in Dana Point California and it's literally on the same road like we're on the same road this is crazy for the lakes right here <laughs> all right and just like that we are leaving Lake Elsinore we saw downtown we saw all around, we literally drove around the entire lake, and now we're yeah. going back into the hills to get to the ocean and time to jump in it for sunset. It's gonna be super cold. I'm not excited, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's like the Pacific Ocean. It's just gonna be cold. Last time I did this, it was cold and it was in June, but like whatever. Have you ever swam in the Pacific Ocean? I've never been physically in the Pacific Ocean, ever. Well, on the US side. In Thailand, remember? That was the Gulf of Thailand. Oh, true. Yeah, so, on the U.S. side. Yeah. Yeah. This would be a first for me. Wow. All right. So now I, we're going to drive over the mountains and get our swimsuit on for the most frigid plunge in Antarctica. San Francisco. Luckily, this is right next to Mexico, so fingers crossed it will be warm. But it's Leah's first time to get the Pacific, so I hope it's not too cold for her. But as you can see, there's no one swimming unless you're wearing a full body wetsuit, and we are not. So let's do this thing. It was 
so fun. I wonder how cold like Elsinore would have been. I don't think it would have been this cold. This is... Also, you like dropped. <laughs> well, there's a drop off right there. I think it's low tide right now, but I'm not really sure. <gasps> you like really dropped. I'm just like, thankful that I didn't have to like put on a show for a lot of people. There's not that many people on this part of the beach right now. I literally don't know how to swimming unless you have a wetsuit on. <laughs> You're so cold. Sorry for failing you. It's okay. But I'm not really that sorry. <laughs> I kind of expected it, you know? Even though you're the cold water person. In conclusion, I feel like this is what California is all about. Being outside, being in nature, Southern California anyways. And I was supposed to ski and swim in the same day, but we're not really avid skiers and the slopes don't have snow on them. Plus it's coronavirus and nothing's open in the LA area. So we decided to do hiking and swimming instead in the winter time, but here we are. So thank you for watching this video. California rat. It's falling over. California dog. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? If you know what this is, let us know. Thanks for watching this video. 